Yes, that looks ultra nutritious, I have to say. Speaking of nutrition, it's time for the nutrition segment right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And today we're talking about how our diet affects our mental health. Now, we have Coach Amara here with us, Amarachi Okoro, professionally known as Coach Amara. She's passionate as an advocate on parenting, a rather preventive fighting and reversing lifestyle diseases, uh, and it comes this way when it comes to nutrition. Now, we're going to be helping to modify lifestyles with these additions. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. All right. So um, now mental health and food. I know that when I eat ice cream, I feel very happy. Is that what you're talking about here? That's exactly what we're talking about. Okay. We're talking about not just um, how it makes you feel, but okay. also the effects it has on your brain functions and other things, other aspects. Okay, so I'm not thinking about my brain, but okay, I'm actually thinking, but I'm not thinking about what my brain is doing when I'm eating. I'm just thinking about my stomach. Exactly. That's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to talk about this because, you know, while we're in school, when we were um, being taught about the brain, the digestive system, we always thought that they are separate entities, right? But they're actually very, very joined. Oh, okay. They're like this. One affects the other. It's like a twin bond. Do you understand? Yeah, you, you make one twin upset, the other twin is going to be upset with you. Do oh. you understand? So that's how connected the brain and the, let me use digestive system now instead of gut. We call it gut. So gut health and brain, they are together. Okay. Yeah. So um, now let's talk a bit about um, some foods or options of foods that could probably be affecting our moods. A lot of us have road rage, anger issues. A lot of people are stressed out, mentally drained, um, and, you know, probably lashing out for some reason. Exactly. Are there some foods that we need to avoid? Yes, there are some foods we need to avoid, and there are also some foods we need to have a lot of. Okay. I'll start with the foods that we should have a lot of. We need foods that are high in serotonin. Okay. So serotonin is the chemical in the brain that tells the brain what to do, tells the brain to calm down, tells the brain actually not to get aggressive. Oh. It, uh, yes, it actually has non-aggressive properties. Yeah. Um, so we need to eat food that are high, that can give us a lot of serotonin. And um, Examples of those. Okay, fine. What in the body is not known as serotonin, that's the byproduct. Okay. So what is known in the body is tryptophan-rich foods, like soybeans. Oh. We have soybeans, yes. We have dark greens like your ugu, okay. we have walnuts, nuts and seeds, basically, okay. uh, those that are good. High in them. serotonin, so nuts exactly. and seeds, green vegetables, and soybeans. and soybeans. So if I had a soybean smoothie, like with some greens and some nuts in there, I would have a nice... A very nice um, amount of serotonin. Amount of serotonin in your body. Yeah. And it, drinking that would help me with yes. what? It will help me feel better? It helps or? you feel better, it will help calm you down, and it actually even helps in sleep. Okay. Because it actually, um, serotonin actually helps in producing melatonin, okay. which is the sleep hormone. And we're not getting a lot of that, which is why we're a bit cranky, you know, okay. when we don't sleep. Do you have any other examples of uh, foods that we should be taking? Yes, we also have polyphenol-rich foods. Okay. There we have our dark chocolate. Mm. That's a good one for people that like chocolate, yes, so. like me. <laughs> but it has to be the dark kind of chocolate, right? We have cocoa and all that. Then we have chicken thighs. Uh, also uh, are you good. kidding um, right now? I'm serious. Chicken thighs are Chicken also thighs, good. that's um, like the, the drumstick. The drumsticks. The drumsticks. Yes. Why specifically the drumsticks, though? Well, it's not clear because okay. it has more than the breasts. Okay. So that's why it's actually, um, science has shown that it's actually okay. more in um, tryptophan. Okay. Yes. All right. So we've added chicken and we've, we've added, added... Chicken, we've added dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All those things that we thought we were supposed to avoid, we're adding them to the list of things we could. No, the chicken, why people are told to avoid chicken is because of the skin. Okay. So it's to, it's, it's to be said that you should remove the skin of the chicken. All right. Yeah, because okay. it has a lot of fat. So uh, what are the things that we should be avoiding? Oh, well, number one on the list is um, processed food. Okay. Processed food, we have like your refined grains, pastries, anything that has a lot of sugar, added sugar, anyway. Then we have some oils that we use to cook. 
most of the time, seed oils, that's what we call them. Now, these seed oils are actually okay on their own, on the natural state, but because when they get processed, mm. the heat and the procedure just knocks off all the nutrients and you're left with you know, a lot of omega-6 fatty acid, which is not good. But when they're in their natural state, they have omega-3 fatty acids. Okay, so good. you know olive olive oil is, a, is considered a seed oil. I was coming to that. Right? Olive oil is actually the exception. It's extra the Extra virgin. Extra virgin. Olive oil, cold pressed. They don't go through the same process. Heat. Yes, process. So olive oil is the best okay. oil I can recommend. And most of the time we, we hardly cook olive oil. We add it to salads yes. and things and we eat it in its raw but state. But I like to use it to fry eggs. Okay. If you use it to fry eggs, fantastic. So. Okay. Um, so we've, um, we also mentioned um, snacks, uh, pastries. So processed. is bread on that list? Bread is on that list. Bread okay. is highly processed, okay. highly, especially the white. You know, right. we have the whole wheat bread. Then okay. we have the bread is highly, is fat. It's one of the no-go areas. Why is it so bad to eat bread? Because it has, it's made up of, number one, the refined flour. Okay. It, um, the flour has totally been stripped of all the nutrients. You know, when the um, wheat uh, is naturally picked up, it has the barn, it has the, it has the bran, it has the germ, the endosperm, all those nutritive parts of the, of the wheat. But when people are now, when the manufacturers go, because they want the white, nice part, they remove all those parts that I, I'm supposed to be eating okay. just to make it look fine. So that's why bread is, uh, is, is okay. not... Okay. All right, so the whiter the bread, the finer the flour. Exactly, and the non nutrition oh, wow. oh. aspect of it. So that's okay, so we have some foods we can add to our diet this month, and we have a few that we might need to strike completely. Hopefully, you've been able to pick a few things from Coach Amara. We'll be taking a break now, but we'll be back with more. Thank you. <laughs>